Hey y'all, welcome back to Sidewinder Shed. Again, today I'm at work, I'm in the truck. And uh, a lot of times, being a truck driver, a lot of times you sit, you sit for a while. You sit for hours waiting on a load, waiting to be unloaded, waiting for something to do. And uh, over the years, I've had I've had a lot of people ask me, what do you do to keep from getting bored? They just find this very boring. Well, it is boring. Especially since I'm in a day cab, I can't even stretch out in the sleeper and take a nap or anything. But one of the things, you know, obviously that I do to keep from getting bored is make a video um, nowadays with the uh, cell phones and computers and everything there's plenty of options to uh, kind of keep yourself busy but I'm also old school I've been doing this uh, I've been doing this a very long time uh, over three decades on and off for the first decade or so but yeah I've been doing it for quite a while and uh, I remember sitting in these uh, vehicles, sitting in the truck, sitting somewhere, you know, uh, already read the pay newspaper, remember the old print papers, already read them front to back, did all the crossword puzzles, read books, did everything else. Sometimes when you run out of external stimuli, then you just start thinking, so what do you think about? Well, you think about everything. Oh my God, I don't know how many things I've thought about, arguments with the wife, the ex-wife, um, and in my mind I want a few of them, you know, it doesn't happen in real life, but, you know, in my mind I want a few. But one of the other things that, uh, just like recently, that's why I decided to make this video, one of the weird things that I was thinking about is time dilation space and time now I'm not sure how many of you are uh, familiar with this but the faster you go and the closer you get towards the speed of light the slower time moves for you you personally do not notice any difference okay let's say you were going from Earth to Proxima Centauri which is roughly four and a half light years from here and you're traveling at the speed of light from someone's perspective on earth it would look like if they could have a camera we'll go with a quantum camera which could transmit uh, videos instantly doesn't depend on the speed of light if they could see you the faster closer you get towards the speed of light the slower you would appear to move to them or my perspective on here on earth vice versa the person that's moving at the speed of light looking back at me on earth I would seem to be moving quicker it'd be like they were fast forwarding through a movie so with that being said and that is a fact maybe I'm not explaining it well but that is a given fact and uh, Einstein proved this also with his theory of relativity um, space-time is pretty much two different parts of the same thing and they call that pretty much the fourth dimension we live in a three-dimensional space but space-time time is the fourth dimension I'm not going to get into all that but one of the things I was thinking is yeah, here we are, we're on Earth, and this, the whole universe is very dynamic. The Earth spins on its axis. It orbits around the Sun. The Sun and the whole solar system spins around the outside of the uh, galactic plane, well, one of the arms. It travels with the galactic plane, the galaxy galaxy itself is also spinning as well as moving through space so the the universe is very dynamic everything is moving even when we're sitting still we're still moving but getting back to the uh, time dilation let's say we're on the very 
we're on a planet that's on the very, very, very outskirts, very edge of the galactic disk. And there's another planet that's more towards the center. Now think of a racetrack, a big oval, or a big round racetrack, not an oval, but a round one. And you got two cars that are side by side and they're going around the track. In order for them to stay even and parallel, everyone knows the outside car has got to move faster than the inside. And the wider the track, the faster that outside car has to go. So if we're on that planet that's on the very outskirts of the galactic disk, very outside of the galaxy, and you have one that's real, real close to the center, yet for whatever reason we maintain being parallel. We move around the galaxy at the same time. We start at one point and X amount of millions of years, billions of years, 100,000 years later, we come back to the same point. We orbit and we're in the same positions. Now, of course, that outside planet has got to be moving much faster than the inside planet. And even though the distances are great and the speeds are great, we're nowhere near approaching the speed of light. So we probably wouldn't notice much of a time dilation in our lifetimes. But I'm wondering what effect that would have on any life forms or any organic matter over maybe a billion years. It's got to have some sort of effect. And I was, those are one of the stupid things that I think about. You know, it just uh, keeps your mind active. I don't have an answer, but hey, some of you guys might be a lot smarter. Well, yeah, most of you guys are a lot smarter than me to begin with. And so I'm just throwing that out there. It's a uh, little something to think about, a little mind exercise. Anybody have an idea? what the difference would be, and I know I didn't give any distances, but let's see, the Milky Way itself is roughly 180 light years in diameter. So here's what you can do, you can take that 180, I'm sorry, 180,000, 180,000 light years in diameter, I, I do believe that's it, 180,000. You can take that diameter, 180,000, multiply it by pi, 3.14, and that will give you the approximate circumference of the Milky Way galaxy. From there, you could probably figure out, eh, somebody smarter than me and it's probably out there, how fast our solar system is moving I know it's out there and so you could figure out using that math how long it takes you to get start at one point and traverse the whole circumference figure that out and then uh, you know imagine that there's one another planet with life on it that's either twice as far away or half as far as the edge of the uh, galaxy. And the time difference in over a billion years, how would that affect everything? Because somebody's moving faster than somebody else, somebody's moving slower. So that means even if it's a few microseconds a year, there's still a difference in the time, there's still a time dilation, there's still a difference in time. Somebody's going to age quicker, somebody's going to age slower. Some things from the slower person's perspective, you know, it, it, it's just, yeah, I'm going to confuse myself and you too. But anyway, hopefully you get the idea. It's a mind, just a mind exercise, and it's just one of the stupid things I'll think about every now and then. 
Anyway, y'all have a good day. Y'all take care.